Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we're gonna be trying out the new responsive AI in Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are now in Wix Studio. And the first thing I'd like to do is actually design our section. So the first thing I'm gonna do is raise the height and I'm gonna kind of set this height to 700 pixels. Now this height is only 700 pixels if the user is on the screen size of 1440. And if I resize the screen, you're basically gonna see that this white section in front of us is getting smaller. So because this section is said to have a responsive behavior of scale proportionately, if the user is on a smaller device or even a larger device, this height will scale proportionately to whatever this user's screen size is. So the first thing I want to do is actually just add an image to the background and we'll just go ahead and stretch it and we can even change out the image to whatever we want. I'm just going to choose this really cool design here. I think it looks pretty cool, but I am going to bump the background color all the way up and I'm going to lower the image opacity to 50%. Then what I want to do is just add some text here. So I'm just going to add a title over here. For this, I want to make it white. We'll make it a little bit wider and I'm just gonna paste in some lorem ipsum just like this. Now with this text selected, I'm gonna align it to the middle and then we're gonna send the actual text element to the middle as well. Underneath that, we're just gonna have a simple little button. Now for this design, I want the background to be white or actually maybe we can make the background of this orange and for the corners, let's just round the edges. I think that looks clean. And actually just for fun, let's go over to studios. Let's go over to tools. We'll do get add on. And I want to get this color selection tool right here. And what we're going to do is grab this image. We're going to raise the opacity all the way up. Then we're going to grab this color right here and we're going to copy it. Then we can close out of this and with the image, we can put this back down to 50%. Then we'll grab this button and maybe we can change this one to this color here and we'll change it to this one. Perfect. So I think that looks really cool just like that. But down here we might want to display some stats maybe. So what I'm going to do is just add a simple container here. Let's go ahead and make the width of this 960 pixels and for the height maybe we can do something like 180. Then let's center it. Let's make the background white. And for the corners, I want to do rounded edges. So we'll go ahead and do 36. I think that looks pretty good. And for this container, I do want to apply a grid. So we're gonna come over to advanced CSS grid and apply. And we're gonna give us four columns. So we're gonna go over here, apply four columns. So we should have something that looks like this. Now what I want to do is copy this text right here. We'll come down here and we'll paste it. For the text, let's make this one black. And we just need this to be a number, so let's do like 300 plus. Let's go ahead and center it in here. And we don't need this to be super wide, so we'll go ahead and make it about this size and let's put it over here in this right column, or left column, sorry. Then let's grab this paragraph. And once again, I am just gonna use some lorem ipsum. We'll center it and I'm going to move this underneath the 300 text. We'll grab both of these, we'll stack them together. Then in this grid cell, we'll make sure they are centered. Then let's copy and paste it, and we'll move this one here. Again, let's center it. And we'll do that two more times, because we have two more cells in this grid. Okay, and now let's just simply change out the numbers real quick. So what I want to do is maybe bring this up a little bit. Then we're gonna grab all of three of these items here and we'll stack them together. And we will just center this inside of these section. So now what I want to do is, you know, on tablet and mobile, this doesn't look the best just because the section is set to scale proportionately. So what we're gonna do is select the section and then we're gonna press responsive AI, 
you'll get a box that looks like this and we can press generate now. And once it's done, you'll basically land in a preview box where you can preview it. It'll also give you the option to apply the design or discard it if you don't think it did a good enough job for you. But let's go ahead and check it out. Here on desktop, it looks fantastic. Then once we hit tablet, you know, it starts to look pretty good. But what I will say here on tablet is this box is getting a little too big and this text up here is getting a little too close to the top of the section so we might need to tweak it a little bit but then if we come down to mobile i think this looks fantastic um once again we might need to tweak a little bit here or there um, but overall i think it does a fantastic job so let's go ahead and apply the design basically when we apply the design, it's going to look like this. Um, one thing I will say is if I go ahead and grab maybe this container here, maybe on mobile, it might be kind of cool to lower the opacity just a little bit here. I think that would look pretty cool. Um, for the rest of mobile, I think this looks pretty good. Um, maybe I would want to kind of extend this section out just a smidge, just so there's a little bit more spacing there. For tablet, um, what I will say is we might need a little bit more space on the top and bottom. So I'm gonna grab this stack and add like a 10% margin on the top and bottom. And maybe even 10 is a little bit too much to be completely honest. Maybe we can get away with just five. And I think that looks really good. Also in here, we could just extend this out a little bit more, make sure it is centered. And I think that looks pretty clean. Uh, if we grab this container, instead of it being 180 pixels, maybe we could set this to be 100 pixels. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we do make the uh, background of it a little bit opaque like it was on mobile. I think that looks pretty clean. And then on desktop, let's go ahead and grab this container. And with the row height, we, let's just set this to like viewport width. So it's a responsive value. And I think that looks perfect. So with responsive AI, you might have to do some tweaks, but overall for most sections, unless it's very complex, it will do a lot of the grunt work for you and you just go in and do a couple tweaks here and there. I think this is a fantastic tool that's gonna really speed up your workflow and help you build responsive websites a lot faster. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again and I'll see you on the next one.